We've pulled together this PLC today because uh, it appears that some of you younger teachers are having some issues with the classroom management. That uh, students just aren't taking you as seriously as they should. Cell phone issues, tardies, general inane questions, and um, the problem might not be your classroom management techniques. Uh, it might be your face. As us veteran teachers know, your face is everything. So to help with this, I have uh, called in the help of a retired Bora teacher who is now a motivational speaker for teachers all across the country. And he's going to come in here and talk to us about proper face technique in education. Jerry, will you come in here, please? Kid comes into your class, three minutes tardy, carrying a Dutch Bros. What do you do, Mr. Tuggle? Uh, that looks delicious. Did you get me one? No! No, stupid, come in. Tardy to your classroom because you needed a Dutch Bros. <gasps> Boutro, what face do you make? Yes! The furrowed brow! The pressed... Who do you think you are, lips? Yeah. I can't believe I'm witnessing this with my own eyes! That's it? Scenario number two! You come into class, you're standing at the front of the class, going over last night's homework, and Johnny, who's sitting in the front of the class, raises his hand and says, My mommy's calling. Can I answer my phone? Well? Um, I would say, yeah, absolutely. Answer the call. I hope it's not an emergency. Wrong! You never let them talk on their phones. Never. And Sadagi, help us out. What reaction do you make? Yes! Yes! That is the face that says, Let me talk to your mother! Scenario number three. Betty, ask the teacher. I was gone yesterday. Did I miss anything? Miss McIntosh, what is your response? I would say, yes, Betty, come to my desk and I'll show you where I put the assignments and instruction on Google Classroom. This Macintosh, you don't need to go over with the student with the assignment if they should have checked it out on their own. Compton! What would you do? Betty, God, so good to see you. You know I only teach every other day, the days you're here. You should really just go back to your seat and continue doing exactly what you've been doing. Nothing. Next scenario. A student comes to you the day the assignment is due and he tells you, ah, my internet has crashed and I couldn't get the assignment in on time. Mr. Stafford, what do you do? <laughs> but his internet crashed! <laughs> Stafford, are you crying? That is pathetic! Mr. Peachy, what face do you make? Yes, notice the particular deadpan eyes that Mr. Peachy is able to turn on and off like a light switch. He's staring right through the student and his crashed internet. He's plumbing the depths of his soul. Okay, I'm seeing a pattern here. You young teachers are trying to have a conversation with your students. That's a problem. There's a time for teacher talk and a time for teacher face. You have to work on your face. Now, pay attention. I'm going to unveil the ultimate teacher face. 
This face is the pinnacle, the penultimate teacher face. You will never achieve this face. This face is like a Zen mask. And all your misbehaviors are projected onto it and bounce back at you in a moment of shame. I'm going to show you this face. But you can't look at it too long because the gravitational pull might pull you in. 